if you're thinking of a place to visit for your holiday, how about Cancun in Mexico? Okay, it's just totally right for you. So I'll be taking you around the amazing places that you should be when you decide to take a trip to Cancun. Now here's a little bit about Cancun. All right, it is located in the eastern Mexican state of Quintana Roo on the Yucatan Peninsula, and it's just south of the Strait of Yucatan that um, actually divides uh, the Mexican Gulf and the Caribbean Sea. Okay, so I think that should totally be awesome. Awesome. Now, when you hear about vacations to Cancun, you know, just think about think about spring breakers, you know, uh, dance in your head, like it's totally going to be awesome. However, while in the Mexican destination, um, it's always, you know, really, really um, popular with the kids. And I'm talking about college kids that, you know, they just, you know, uh, save money and like, ah, oh, let's go to Cancun, you know, but apart from the kids, I'll let you know that people from all over the world actually goes there for a visit, and uh, I'm going to be telling you real soon the things to do in Cancun, so uh, this is definitely beyond the beach, and I'm talking about things that include experiences as visiting a total farm and taking a jeep tour through the jungle how awesome is that yes now um in case you're tuning in for the first time this is what we do every thursday which is uh vacation spots with shine every thursday from 11 15 all the way to 11 30 a.m so this is where you gotta be so if you're uh that kind of person that love to travel you should stay tuned to this station and if you're a travel agent and you're like oh you know what yeah yeah that's what's up all right <laughs> All right, so we're in Cancun today, and I'll be telling you fun things that you can do when you decide to go visiting. And of course, I'll tell you the kind of food you should totally check out. But here's how much you can actually spend in Cancun, okay? You can spend around 800 pounds each, and I'm talking about in Naira, it's like 290,000 Naira. Hmm, it's um, kind of pricey, but Trust me, it is very affordable, very affordable when it comes to airlines uh, and also comfortable housing or hotels or resorts that you can actually chill in. 290,000 naira, very affordable, right? Okay, but that's not all about Cancun. How about a typical cuisine in Cancun? Now, one of the most well-known dishes in Cancun and other parts of Mexico is the ceviche. I hope I pronounced it well. Yeah, uh, it's it is spelled like C-E-B-I-C-H-E uh, or C S-E-V-I-C-H-E. -E. Now, it's a type of seafood made from raw fish that is marinated in citrus juices such as lemon and lime juice. Mmm, yum, yum. <laughs> Alright, now here are the fun things you can actually do in Cancun. But before that, the best time to visit Cancun is definitely between December to June every year. Now, this month's often near perfect weather and, you know, they make it an ideal time to enjoy the beaches, okay? Now, uh, there may be like bigger crowd around that time in Cancun, especially uh, during the winter months, that is December all the way to February. So those of you running from cold, you know, want to like totally go chill out there. And of course you can enjoy cheaper uh, fares, airfares and hotel rooms, which is totally awesome, right? So uh, Cancun, as you know, is known as a beach destination and travelers looking for the sun, sand and relaxation will find lots to enjoy, all right? So yes, it's one of just those things. Now here are the fun things you can do. You can hit the beach. <laughs> it's got gorgeous beaches, all right? So if you're a beach lover and uh, you're the sole person that you don't like to travel alone you know it's something that you can travel for too you know you and your boo or you can go with the whole family now there's also the relax with a spa treatment so uh, if you're like me anytime I go on vacation I love to have spa treatment and they have amazing ones I'm talking about a traditional Mexican spa experience mmm and you can also visit the Asian sites, you know, get some insights into what, you know, the place used to be like, you know, before it is what it is right now. And you can also drive a speedboat through the lagoon. How awesome is that? So if you've never been to the helm, uh, you know, at the helm of a boat before, you can actually enjoy steering a speedboat through the lagoon, which is awesome. And you can also visit the underwater museum. You can learn a lot of things. Now this one, I know the kids would totally enjoy it. Underwater museum, hello! <laughs> 
know that you can actually party the night away like party after party <laughs> Yes, Cancun is very notorious for its uh, nightlife and you know, there's lots of options for everyone. Uh, famous nightclub right there is called the Coco Bongo. <laughs> It's got crazy performances like acrobats, magicians, you know, celebrity impersonators and uh, a crazy evening, crazy evening, confettis, balloons, so many things going on that you can actually choose to do, uh, do one or two things every night, okay? And of course, you can also shop for souvenirs. Uh, which is uh, one of the things I really 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 love to do when I travel now um, you can get yourself like Mexican handcrafts a bottle of tequila you know keychains t-shirts refrigerator magnets just to show like hey I went to Cancun <laughs> all right and of course there's so many tours that you can decide to you know get involved in and just see the whole of Cancun experience uh, Mexican the food uh, Mexican food and culture all right so yes so what you can do right now is talk to your travel agent and say you know what I want to take my family and all of us were going to Cancun what can you do for me yeah I heard it on vacation sports with shine and this is the place to be 2020 all right thank you so much for listening I'll be right back next Thursday